I know CodeWrinkles is your favorite .NET channel, isn't it? Come on, I know it is. However, I am a firm believer that there is some great content out there that you maybe haven't heard of. So therefore, here's my top 5 underrated .NET channels that you should definitely check out. Any guess who claims the first spot? Let's find out. Hey there and welcome to the Code Wrinkles channel. I strongly believe that diverse viewpoints and takes is what makes us grow as software engineers because it fosters our critical thinking and critical thinking is vital for any software engineer. And I know that everybody knows about the big guys in our .NET community, but guess what? Often very small channels produce even better content and you're missing out a lot if you don't check them out. So let me introduce you to my personal top 5 underrated .NET channels on YouTube. But first things first, obviously I have picked out these channels based on certain criteria, because in the end I just want to share with you some content that I think you might find valuable and that you would definitely like to watch. First off, since this is a top 5 of underrated channels, I just picked channels that are under 10,000 subscribers. And as you will see, actually most of them are even below 5,000. Then I looked at the quality and the accuracy of the information that we can find on those channels. But that's not all, I also think that video quality is important, not only the content and the information itself. So therefore I have also taken this as a criteria to pick out these 5 channels. And last but not least, one of the most important things is maybe publishing consistency. Because what I want to propose you are 5 channels that are continuously publishing new content so that you continuously can go there and find new and valuable information. This being said, let's move to the fun part and obviously you'll find the links to those channels in the description of this video. So 5th place goes to Vasily Oleini. Vasily started fairly recently, but he managed to pull off some great video content. He has created a very nice series on .NET 7 minimal APIs that you should definitely check out. Overall, I think Vasily's channel is great for less experienced developers as he goes into a lot of fundamentals about ASP.NET Core and .NET and he explains everything in a very concise and a very direct and easy to understand manner. He publishes around one video per week, so you are always in for some new great new stuff. Now let's move on. In a very tight race, finishing fourth is Nick Consentino, aka Dev Leader. What I like on his channel is that he combines technical topics with soft skills topics. He is a software engineering manager and therefore he shares some of the experiences from a point of view that I think is relevant for most of us. But technical content is not neglected by Nick, so you will find a lot of different content on .NET and ASP.NET Core and in my opinion I think that this information or this channel is useful for those who want to consolidate their .NET foundations. And now things start to get serious as we are in the area of the podium. And let me tell you this, the one that I picked for the third place will be probably a very big surprise for you. So finishing third and picking the bronze medal is nobody else than Sean Wildermute. I mean Sean doesn't need any introduction, I guess most of us developers know him. He is a very well established Pluralsight author and I guess he helped out a lot of developers along the way, including yours truly. Based on what I see, he started to concentrate on the YouTube channel around 7 months ago and therefore his channel is still under 10k subs. Nevertheless, obviously he has really a great followership and he grows very very fast. When it comes to video quality, this man has filmed a documentary, so obviously the video and the audio quality on his channel is really top notch. But from a technical point of view, I think that a particular highlight is that he also covers front end technologies like Vue.js for instance. And also from time to time he shares his thoughts about topics that are trending in our .NET community. We are slowly getting to the big reveal, who claims the first spot? We'll find out soon enough. But until then, finishing second and claiming a silver medal is Nick Proud. I mean, how could I not pick a guy whose name is Proud? Jokes aside, Nick is a Microsoft MVP and he's created some great videos. He covers a lot of the fundamentals about .NET and ASP.NET Core, but he occasionally also goes into some more advanced stuff. 
I really like the way he edits his videos and I think he also ha has a great way of explaining things in a very simple and clear manner. And bonus points for his British accent. Oops, I think I joked again, but really, you are missing out if you don't check his channel out. Okay, we made it so far, so now who is the big winner? Before I reveal you, let me tell you this. His storytelling, the way he presents information, his video quality and obviously his video editing is really better than any other YouTube or that .NET YouTuber out there, including obviously myself. So the winner of our top 5 underrated .NET YouTubers is Gui Pereira. Really, you should take a look at his videos and his channel. Top quality video, top quality editing, top quality storytelling. Everything seems to be just perfect in his videos. When it comes to technical topics, I would say that he tends to concentrate on the testing part of things. He has a lot of videos on testing strategies, on testing tools, approaches and even test-driven design. But there's definitely more than this to his channel. And I particularly like the way he manages to balance content for more advanced topics with content maybe for less experienced developers. It makes everything seem so naturally. And before I forget, he has some great thumbnails. In my opinion, they are the best thumbnails in the entire .NET community. Therefore, a big shout out to GUI and definitely go and check his channel after you finish watching this video, obviously. But now I am totally counting on you. Please let me know what do you think about my picks. Do you know any other creators that maybe I have missed out and that should be part of this top 5? Do you agree with the picks that I have made here? Please let me share your thoughts and let me know about other creators that you follow and that you think are great. That will make us grow as a community and I will definitely consider also creating other videos like that to give shoutouts to everybody that contributes to the growth of our community. Obviously, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button and like it and share it with others. As you know, sharing is caring. And if you're for the first time here, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you are always notified when there is new content on the channel. This being said, thank you very much for watching and until the next time, I wish you the very best.